Our reading today is the well-known psalm. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Psalm 23, verses 1 to 6. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk to the darkest valley, I fear no evil. For you are with me, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord my whole life long. The reading is about trust and trust in the knowledge that following in the footsteps of Christ will lead us to safety to him. Just as a shepherd takes care of his livestock, Jesus will ensure that we are also taken care of. The relationship is one of mutual love and trust in him. As he knows, we remain faithful to him in our thoughts and actions. Sometimes in life, our faith is tested and we question our faith and belief. Perhaps through illness, death of a loved one, an unfortunate accident, a health setback or a job that didn't work out. We feel sad and abandoned and unable to deal with our loss, grief or burden. Often our paths seem full of obstacles and we strive without any result. We feel crushed. We have no strength to stand up to those who make our lives difficult. We feel so powerless and weak. Our faith may be questioned as we try to restore a sense of balance in our lives. Perhaps we are tempted to stray off the path. Many of the great saints and martyrs have had to go through many hardships in life and their unfailing trust and belief have allowed them to accept and lead the life that was expected of them. Matthew chapter 11 verses 28 to 30 Come to me all you who labour and are overburdened and I will give you rest. Shoulder my yoke and learn from me for I am gentle and humble in heart and you will find rest for your souls. Yes, my yoke is easy and my burden light. These words are so powerful, yet give a sense of gentleness and meekness. Rest is provided for those who are burdened with the worries of everyday worldly problems and concerns which seem to overburden us all. The second reading is from Matthew 6, verses 25 to 28. This is why I'm telling you not to worry about your life and what you are to eat, nor about your body and what you are to wear. Surely life is more than food and the body more than clothing. 
Look at the birds in the sky. They do not sow or reap or gather into barns, yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not worth much more than they are? Can any of you, however much you worry, add one single cubit to your span of life? And why worry about clothing? Think of the flowers growing in the fields. They never have to work or spin. Yet I assure you that not even Solomon in all his royal robes was clothed like one of these. Now if that is how God clothes a flower which is growing wild today and is thrown into the furnace tomorrow, how much more will he look after you who have so little faith? In this well-known reading from the scriptures, people are encouraged to have faith and trust so that we'll be taken care of just as the birds and the flowers are taken care of. People too will receive what they need. The reading encourages people not to worry about their material gains, but to invest time in enriching their spiritual life and trusting that their daily needs will be met. The prayer for the reflection today on faith, trust and belief is from Proverbs chapter 3 verses 5 to 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways submit to him and he will make your path straight. Thank you for joining us. Hope to see you again next time. Goodbye for now and thank you for listening.